They vote here in Iran tomorrow after a subdued and lightly, a tightly controlled campaign. A choice of candidates restricted to five conservatives and one claimed reformer. In the closing hours of the campaign, however, one old Iranian war horse has ventured out. Former President Rafsanjani, banned from running himself, has used his once weighty voice to call for people to support the moderate Hassan Rouhani. We can't visit Mashhad to the north of here, but social media show thousands of supporters of Rouhani crowded into a stadium. The ex-nuclear negotiator has become the focus for more reform-minded voters in this election, and pictures appear to show the crowd chanting for the release of political prisoners. There has been little mention of them during this election. At the opposite end of the spectrum is the staunchly conservative candidate and current nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalili, calling for the spirit of the besieged paramilitary forces who visited their discipline on reformists last time to be adopted by everyone in government. Also attracting significant support tonight, the dynamic mayor of Tehran, Mohammed Bakr Galibaf, who says definitely tomorrow will be the end of America and Britain's hopes in this country. <laughs> the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei has been calling for everyone to come out to vote, saying people should cast their votes anyway, whether they support the Islamic Republic or not. A high turnout is important for him, as he believes big numbers will bring credibility to this election. We're joined now by the Tehran University professor and political analyst, Sadek uh, Ziba Kalam. Uh, professor Ziba Kalam, let's quickly look at the Conservatives first of all. It seems to be a knife fight between uh, Mr. Jalili, who is uh, the current nuclear negotiator, and the rather brilliant technocrat here in, in Tehran, the mayor. Uh, can, can, can he win, or who, who is this going well, to be between? Well, um, all the, um, the census so far uh, point that uh, there is a stiff competition between him and the moderate candidate or the reformist candidate, um, uh, Rouhani. They are sort of very when close. When you say him, you, you're Kalabaf, the mayor of Tehran? Kalabaf, the mayor of Tehran. You, so you don't think Jalili is in it at all, really? Well, uh, uh, Jalili is backed by the by the very hardline uh, hardliners, by the very hardline um, conservative, but not Calabas even the mother a conservative. Too. Um, no, uh, I would I would describe him more as a technocrat. Right. Although he pretends very much to say that he's a hardliner and he's close to the supreme leader and he is a war veteran, etc., etc., but people know him basically as a as a technocrat. Okay. Well, now it seems to me I've only been here a few days, but mm -hmm. there seems to be anxiety raising at the moment in the more conservative classes that. Uh, the reformists just might win. Mr. Rouhani could just win. There seems to be intensified security on the streets. And there's also been some rather radical characters shouting out at uh, Mr. Rouhani's rallies. Uh, what about the political prisoners? Well, that has been uh, not only uh, when, when, when he has been attending a meeting, even, even uh, speakers who are close to reformist camp and they have been canvassing, they have been uh, campaigning uh, for the election. Uh, each time that, that you gather, there are someone shouts at the back, what about the political reform uh, uh, prisoner and what about Musavi, what about Karobi, what is he going to do about him? These are if the people who were arrested after the last exactly, presidential election. Exactly. Yeah. But the point is that, the point is that uh, we, we, we must realize that uh, Rouhani is not basically a, a hardline uh, reformist. He's, he's not as reformist as even uh, Hatami. But he's a moderate. He's a pragmatist. He knows that there, there ought to be some changes as far as Iran's foreign policy is concerned. Mm -hmm. He has realized that there must be a breakthrough uh, as far as negotiation between Iran and 5 plus 1 over the nuclear issue is concerned. Could the system tolerate him? The point is that uh, uh, if you ask uh, uh, the people who are hardline within the system, within the establishment, they would say that, no, he can't do anything and, and uh, uh, let him become president and uh, we are managing. But the point is that if you talk to moderate hardliners, <laughs> if you like, they would tell you that something must be done right. because uh, the economy is getting worse every day. Well, 
Thank you very much indeed. You're it's very good of you to join us, Professor. Uh, there you have it, moderates, moderate hardliners and hardline moderates and moderate hardliners. It's incredibly complex, but tomorrow is voting day. Till then, let's go back now to Cathy in London.